Hey my loves, thanks for stopping by. So I know it has been like a week since I have filmed and I apologize. I had a little procedure done yesterday. I had to be put to sleep. Um, waiting on results for it. I'll do like a story time and explain why and what's been going on. But I want to do a review and demo on the Hourglass um, Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And it looks like this. You pop the top off. And you don't get a lot of product. Which I don't really. I'm not okay with that. Um, but yeah. That's not a lot of product. It's not even as long as this is. Um... I have worn it through the day and I'm gonna tell y'all it looks beautiful on your skin it, it looks gorgeous I am oily I don't recommend this for oily girls I just want to show y'all how it looks I do and I would recommend this for more um, of the dry girls maybe combination maybe not even really but it does leave just a beautiful finish on your face it's absolutely gorgeous but as far as what like an hour like two hours lady lady really later you could I could have like I don't know somebody could have done their makeup in my forehead okay so it was really shiny so I'm just gonna jump right and I do have my brows done moisturized prepped and primed um and I wanted to try this I got this as a sample with the Sephora order but I don't want to end up loving them and want to go get it right now so I'm not even gonna use them right now and I want to use it with something else anyway so I'm just going to jump in I guess I'm gonna do beauty blender on this side and a brush on this side and I'm going to use my wet and wild brush I guess I don't know so I'm just gonna make a couple of like stripes and like my makeup forever stick foundation the ultra hd um when you first rub this on your face you're like oh holy fuck because it emphasizes if you see that like your pores like a mofo okay but when you blend it in you can't see that see that it really it's kind of it's kind of scary i'm not gonna lie but I knew not to freak out because with my um, Ultra HD foundation, once I blended it out, it did not look like that. Thank God. But y'all will see in a minute what I mean. See, it's blending out beautifully. And like I said, I'm going to do one side beauty blender one side um with a brush and excuse if y'all heard my two-year-old screaming a second ago she's out there with her dad and i'm sure she's fighting over a toy or something with her sister no telling right no telling And then I'm going to take, I mean, you could use whatever brush you wanted to. I'm just going to use this little, like, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my Wet n' Wild blending brush because it's a little more closer. Ooh, just knocked my area out of my ear. It's a little more closer to the um, brush that it comes with. I do feel with the beauty blender side i feel you get more of a coverage um like with the brush i would have to go in with a little bit more to make it look like the other side but it still it does look beautiful with a brush and i would you know i probably should have like more stippled it but it does say on back the box to go in like sweeping motions you know but um Oh, well, right? 
See, I am going to go in one more time because I do have a lot more coverage on this side with the Beauty Blender than I do this side. I'm just going to do like two more stripes. Like, bam. Actually, I'm going to do three. <laughs> Because, you know, like, look, I seriously used this twice. The product goes really, really fast. I'm just not, you, you know, too happy with it, you guys. Um, I'm pretty positive that I am exchanging this. Because the amount of product that you get and the amount of money that you're paying, it's really not. I mean, it's worth it, but it's not worth it. Like, if you have, like, dry skin... I know I've heard some other girls say that, oh, if you have dry skin, I wouldn't try this. I don't agree with that at all because it does not cling on to any of my little dry patches that I might have, which I don't have many, but I do get a few from my chemical peels. Um, it does not cling on to them. And like I said, an hour later, I was just shiny like I'm even peeling a little bit on my head from being in the sun and it's not clinging to that either and it does look better as you go um I wouldn't say you get a full coverage right away I don't agree with that either I know some girls said that but I don't agree at all that it's full coverage right away like I said the it does look beautiful on the skin, but I just don't recommend this for people oily. Whether you're a little oily or you're a lot oily, I'm like, some days I'm like medium oily and other days I am super duper disgustingly oily to where like I really need to just mattify with a primer and then I need to mattify with one of my um powders you know my translucent powders which y'all i want to tell y'all i want to do a review on this but i'm just going to say laura mercier as y'all know is like my favorite setting powder of all times but y'all this kat von d locket setting powder is freaking bomb like really though it's just awesome to mattify to bake like it's just good really good so i really really do recommend this um this kat von d locket setting foundation setting powder and i'm just going to press this into my skin i'm not doing like any type of cream contouring or concealing today I really honestly I don't like conceal that much um I'll use like a highlighter a concealer to highlight but my skin is in really great condition from the dermatologist that I don't have really barely any hyperpigmentation I can't tell you the last time I've gotten a breakout um I've never had circles uh I really recommend to everybody it doesn't matter you could use the cheapest makeup around if your skin's good it's going to look good you could use the most expensive makeup and if you're not keeping up with your skin your makeup's not going to look well and then not just for makeup you want to do it for when you get older too you know um but anyway back to the foundation so I wore it the other day I've worn it this I wore it one day for like an hour, then I wore it again for the whole day, and then obviously I'm wearing it again today. Only for this review, I guess that I am going to exchange it. I am. Um, I'm not happy with the 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 after. I don't know what you would call it. Just after you've had it on for an hour or two, I just wasn't happy with it. I was so oily looking, like, and I don't have. I mattify, like I mattify myself, like in Mofo, I have to, because I'm really, really oily. But when I looked in that mirror, I could not believe that even after I mattified with a primer, with my Matte Rescue by Benefit, and 
with a setting powder that my Laura Mercier or this new Kat Von D, which usually keeps like my oils locked in and at bay, I could not like even look. You can see under here, like my oils are seeping through already. It's just, I don't understand it. But it looks so pretty on the skin. It looks gorgeous on the skin. Like, I am kind of at eyes. Like, I don't really know what to do. Like, I'm kind of like, should I exchange it? Should I not ex exchange it? Um, maybe I would like it in the winter. I don't know. I'm not really too sure. But you can see my oil, even on my eyebrows, above my brows, right here. Look at that. When do y'all see me get that oily, you know, for a video? Like, I just, I don't. Not that quick. It's just something with this is bringing that oil out so fast. It's ridiculous. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And excuse, like, the brows and everything. I'm not done. All I legit did was put fill in my brows like a little bit and then show y'all the foundation so that's all I have on but it looks like really pretty on the skin but it's not for oily girls I think it would be for dry girls or maybe oily us oily girls could use it in the winter and I'm talking about like not when it's a little winter I'm talking about like <laughs> When it's super duper cold, like you don't even want to walk outside because it's so cold. I'm not talking about like when it's just getting a little bit cold out there, you know. But other than that, I love Hourglass. Their, um, their Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation is like one of my Holy Grail foundations. Unfortunately, this one just didn't do it for me like this one did. And maybe I'll try again in the winter. But right now, I am going to exchange it and get something else. Like I said, love Hourglass. Love y'all Hourglass. But I'll try again in the winter. Maybe. I'll probably like grab a sample, try it instead of buying it. Because I thought that I would love it from the reviews. You know, it was like mixed reviews. And I had like rubbed it on my skin. It looked beautiful. But after wearing it, it was like, I don't know. I looked like a grease ball. And like I said, I am a makeup artist. I am very aware of how to mattify my skin, whatever. And like I always do with any foundation, I've never ever had a foundation make me look like that. Especially just within like two hours later. But that's it, you, you guys. I have a haul that I want to do. And I want to try to get a demo up on something else. I don't know if I have time today, but I definitely will have one more video coming up after this, if not two have to go get my earring because I knocked it out of my ear. But I love you guys. Come back and see me again soon. Bye.